off as he steps closer toward a shot at the heavyweight title. ESPN's College Hoops matinee doubleheader starts in the Carolina Coliseum in Columbia, South Carolina. The 12-2 Florida Gators against their SEC rivals, the Gamecocks from South Carolina. Here in the Palmetto State, we're ready to bring you some basketball in Columbia, South Carolina from the Frank McGuire Arena. Here are your Advil starting lineups for this afternoon's game. They look this way. Dimitri Hill really won to watch down low for Florida. The sophomore from St. Petersburg has been outstanding with great jobs against both big country Bryant Reeves and Clifford Rozier. In fact, he held those two collectively to 11 total points in the time that he played against them for that man. Lon Kruger, his three coaching stints, Texas Pan American, his alma mater Kansas State, and now on to Florida. For South Carolina, the big guy down low, yes, is effective, but it's the outside play of Andy Bostic, the swing player that can also help this team. He's scoring at a 17.6 point per game clip for Eddie Fogler, who was successful at Wichita State, later at Vanderbilt, as we earlier mentioned, and now at South Carolina. Long time assistant to Dean Smith prior to taking over. You could say he finally got to Carolina. <laughs> well, he's, he's at the other Carolina, That's of course, right. as far as the folks in this area are concerned. When you say Carolina and South Carolina, you mean South Carolina. That's right. You sure do. The great debate between those states will continue. And the opening tip leads to a travel by Cross, who is trying to save it. So the ball will be rewarded to South Carolina. And you see, these teams have played very tough defensively, as you might expect in their past meetings. These are the meetings they've had in the Southeastern Conference, and they have traditionally been very close. Rich. Watson tried to keep it alive, but Hill brings it out of there. Tim, Florida's an excellent half-court defensive team, and you're going to have to make some shots from the perimeter to be able to play against them. Dimitri Hill gets caught off the ball with a foul. As you might expect, he wants to use the physical attributes that he has during the course of the game. There's always a lot of contact anywhere Demetri Hill is, and of course our camera's going to be watching him very carefully, and folks are going to enjoy seeing that battle down low. All 6'7", 290 pounds of him. Florida defends the lane and they rebound the basketball extremely well, Tim. You can see how packed around the basket their players are right now. Here's that slashing, driving style of Watson you mentioned, Coach. This is that one, and Craig Brown comes down with it. Good defense by South Carolina here. Florida's the one that's known as a great man-to-man -man defensive team, Ken, but South Carolina's playing excellent defense as well. The dump down to Hill, and you see how he uses that body to set up that quick jump hook. He just sort of pushes you back into the lane, and then he's got a very quick release, and he's able to get that off against very big players like Country Reeves and, of course, Clifford Rozier, both excellent shot blockers. Van Ellswick turns it over. Gave the pump fake and moved the pivot foot at the same time. Well, Florida plays such excellent position defense that it's tough to break their defense down. Uh, South Carolina now going to the zone defense, and this was a defense that gave Florida trouble in their game against Florida State. Hill can't handle it. Harry Rich has it. We'll wait for the trailer Bostic as Florida gets back defensively. A trademark of Lon Kruger coach teams. They always get back. Very rarely will you have a numbers advantage 
on a Florida basketball team. And that's amazing because even on a turnover, Tim, like that time, I mean, that's a turnover in the open court, and normally you end up with a disadvantage, but Florida did a great job of retreating and setting the defense, ended up with a turnover themselves. Well, Terry, we talked about it with Lon prior to the game. He has had a turnover problem with this team, but as you suggested, they haven't relinquished many points off those turnovers. Those turnovers don't hurt you unless they lead to easy baskets at the other end of the floor. DeClerc gets one on the reversal. Down low, Andrew DeClerc. And the Gators have a 4-0 lead, two and a half minutes deep from the Frank McGuire Arena. The Gamecocks have failed to scratch early on. Emmett Hall up top over to Clerk. That's a two-point basket and the first of the game ending that dry spell of almost three minutes. But significant that Emmett Hall to get a basket to even get a shot had to move to the perimeter that time, Timmy. Jason Anderson finds Hill. Hill will retrieve it. And that may be the second foul on Dimitri Hill. Yeah, that's two quick ones on him. He's very aggressive going to the offensive glass. He, he doesn't get many rebounds defensively, but most of his points come by having those good hands and the ability to crash the boards on the offensive end. That's right. He's not extremely mobile, but on defense, he tends to check his man out, keep his man from getting the basketball. He's not a great rebounder because he's not a great leaper, but on offense, he finds a way to get the ball, and when he has the ball close to the basket, he'll find a way to put it in. Norm Green has come into the game, number 25 in white. Hard-working sophomore backcourt player from Grand Haven, Michigan. Hall off the baseline extended. So it's Florida four and Emmett Hall four in the early going. Cross. Dan Cross with his first basket. Spain Durkle Bowden has come into the game to replace Dimitri Hill. Forced out with that the foul. What a pass and what a jam. Rich to Watson. How about Jamie Watson? He just hung up in the air and waited on that one, Tim. Watson picks up the foul on the other end. And you'd like to be able to get back and play great defense after a play like that. Instead, you end up with the player who scored fouling, and that doesn't look good for South Carolina. Florida took the ball out of bounds, got it up quickly. Look at that leaping ability by Jamie Watson. Jason Anderson has gone to the line for Florida. Young man from College Park, Georgia. Give you an indication of the kind of year that Florida's had. They're getting magnificent efforts out of some young players. Jason has already eclipsed all of his offensive numbers from his freshman year, and we're barely into January. Lon Kruger's team up by one. When your hands hurt, you can't function. Until now. Introducing the new CopperFit Compression Gloves with Sure Grip technology to give you more power, more control, and more agility than ever. Copper infused compression fabric woven into an ultra lightweight performance glove that supports relief and recovery of sore muscles and painful joint stiffness. And new Sure Grip bands built in provide a strong non slip grip. They relieve my pain. The support or whatever magic these things do, I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter to me what it is. It works. Relief from painful muscle and joint soreness. Guaranteed or your money back. Or call 1-800-642-4192. Or on the web at getcopperfitgloves.com for only $19.99. Order right now and your shipping is free. While I'm wearing this, I do not have any pain. I can use it on the keyboard, I can use my phone. I love this glove. Ask for it by name, Copperfit Compression Gloves. People love the Hurricane, the number one selling cane from coast to coast. I love my Hurricane. I love how secure I feel with my Hurricane. They love how it helps them walk safely on any surface. And they love how it stands on its own. They love how it folds and unfolds in seconds. I love my Hurricane. Order your Hurricane at our legendary low price with a 100% money-back guarantee plus free shipping. Go to Hurricane.com. That's Hurricane.com. 
also available at Walmart. Play by the rules, I do what I do. I've always been the same. Donald and the Rams. <laughs> Brady and the Bucks. <laughs> Are you ready for two powerhouses on Monday night? I live my life in the Trying to my I'm like, no, 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 no. Let's go, boys. Let's go win it. Are you ready for Monday night? Exclusively on ESPN Plus, UFC 255, tomorrow. Featuring two title fights. The flightweight championships are on the line as Davison Figueredo defends his belt against Alex Perez and Valentina Shevchenko takes on Jennifer Maya. New subscribers get UFC 255 and a year of ESPN Plus for only $84.98. With ESPN Plus, you'll get unrivaled UFC access, including exclusive fights and original content. Buy it on ESPNPlus.com slash PPV. A big college football doubleheader. Wisconsin Northwestern and Oklahoma State, Oklahoma on ABC. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Yeah. Martin Luther King would have been 65 years of age today, born January 15th, 1929. Interestingly, Terry Holland, and this is the very weekend that the Justice Department got involved to make certain that we were able to play basketball today as the proposed boycott of the Black Coaches Association has been indefinitely postponed. Well, it is interesting timing. Martin Luther King's birthday, of course, would have been an ideal time for a boycott if that was necessary. I'm glad it's not necessary because certainly these players here are enjoying playing the game as, as well as all players throughout the country this weekend. Durant Williams has come into the game in the backcourt for South Carolina and promptly a turnover by the Gamecocks. Rawson Brown trying to get things started for this Florida offense along the perimeter. And there's the drive by Brown. DeClerc works hard and puts it back up. Nice work by DeClerc, the junior from Clearwater Countryside. His first basket. Oh, nice look to Hall. Well, both teams are determined to go inside, even though both defenses are very good at protecting the inside, and that's why you're seeing these turnovers. Norm Green the steal. Numbers for Williams. But again, they don't get the conversion as Kerry Rich came up empty. Good pressure on the basketball by both teams. Kerry Rich playing very tough defense on the perimeter, as is Jamie Watson. There's another steal. And a foul by Anderson. Here's first. Well, again, just excellent defense here. Kerry Rich getting great pressure on the basketball, which created that opportunity later. And Jamie Watson doing a good job of putting pressure on as well. But watch Kerry Rich. He just gets right up in his face, forces the dribble. And then, of course, when they get a chance to make a play on the ball, they knock it loose, and who comes up with it? Kerry Rich, who originally did it by playing such great pressure defense. That will be a staple of Eddie Fogler's system here. You know, when he took over the job, Fogler, along with his staff of Neil Darty, Rick Callahan, and Jeff Lebo, they only had four players that were eligible to play Division I college basketball. They had to hurry out, go through the junior college route, and come up with a couple of fines as freshmen to field a basketball team. Well, and that's their problem, Tim. This is a very good basketball team, but they're not very deep. They don't have a lot of flexibility. Bostic comes up empty, but the long rebound controlled to Jamie Watson. Norm Green. Very tough-minded youngster that will get a lot of playing time for Eddie Fogler. Well, he just worked so hard. He was very effective against Campbell on Wednesday, even though South Carolina lost that game. And I'm sure Florida was surprised to see him come in and take that shot. Gamecocks with a lead, 10-9. This is six minutes deep. Marty Kuzma. He's been struggling with his outside shot. But for a big man, that's what they like to see him do, step out and bring the defense away down low. Van Ellswick is rejected. Cross with numbers. And a player control foul. 
And again, good position on defense by South Carolina. Great job hustling back. And as you mentioned, uh, Marty Kuzma is not shooting the ball very well from the perimeter this year. Chris Fowler in our studio will no doubt keep you posted on all of those games coming up at halftime. A big, big day of college basketball on ESPN. We'll be taking you out to the Southwest Conference later today for Texas Tech and Houston from Lubbock. Emmett Hall. South Carolina working the offensive glass well, but Hall got a little fancy and crossed with the pickpocket. And Durant Williams will pick up the foul on the reach. Florida Gators have won five games this year by less than five points. Among those, a wire victory in the SEC against LSU. They beat Villanova, Oklahoma State. That was a big win for them, along with Texas. Those are all RPI wins for the Tournament Selection Committee. They lost. They played very poorly against Florida State. Had a good try against Louisville, but came up empty. And, of course, the one key here is that of those key wins, only LSU was at home. The rest of those games were either at neutral sites or on the road. You look around the Southeastern Conference this year, most people thought it was Kentucky, Arkansas, and then a huge drop-off. But as play has begun, teams like LSU, as an example, they've lost two games by one point at Florida, at Arkansas. Mississippi State has stunned everyone with a 3-0 start with a double-low post situation for their ball club. And as you said, Tim, that uh, Mississippi State team may be the dark horse. I think they're really one of the sleepers in this country. Formanic can't get it to go. He's in the game for the first time. He goes by Ishii Formanic from Czechoslovakia. And a pull-up jumper on the wing by Brian Thompson. His first deuce for the Gators, and they're up three, 13 to 10. Both of these coaches substitute freely. South Carolina's not deep, but the players that they have, they use. They try to get a break now for Jamie Watson. He's out of the game. Formanic again. In the paint today, we've got a true foreign legion. Formanic of South Carolina, and of course, the Scandinavian skyline from Florida with Dirkle Bowden, Quizma, and Andrew DeClerc. The changing defenses of South Carolina seem to be bothering Florida. They're not able to give an offensive rhythm here. South Carolina going back in the zone this time and forcing the perimeter shot. Nice save by Hall. Jamie Watson has numbers. Formanic, nice save. And that'll be a foul, a reach prior to the shot. Now, what a rebound by Hall at the other end of the floor, though. I mean, he just, you see why he leads the conference in rebounding. Watch him leave the floor and go after this basketball. He just doesn't rebound his area. He goes after the ball. 13 to 10, Gators by three. Still early here in Columbia. Drivers who fix their own cars just got a smarter tool to work with. The easy-to-use vehicle selector on carparts.com. We put the exact part you need right at your fingertips. No guesswork, no hassle. Just enter the year, make, and model of your car. You'll save up to 50% and find the right part fast. Turning that smartphone into a parts store on demand where every part is guaranteed to fit. Get the right parts right now at carparts.com. CashNetUSA.com, man. I help when money's tight. If approved, you may get the money you need as soon as the same business day. Get the cash you need fast. Apply online today. Go to CashNetUSA.com. Money's on the way with CashNetUSA. Grubhub Perks give you deals on all the food that makes you buggy. Get the food you love with Perks from Grub What You Love. This year is not normal. We have no idea what's going to happen. 2020 has been about overcoming adversity. Absolute chaos. This is happening. There is a postseason. Stop. Don't talk. Stop with the love. It's all that's in your head. There's a 
week to week thing. What are you most interested in seeing? It is going to be the eye test. The eye test. People get really nervous when the first rankings come out. Who else is sick of wearing sweats? I think it's time we switch it up a bit for the American Music Awards. White, white, wipe it down. White. The AMAs with world premiere performances by Katy Perry, Bad Bunny, Dua Lipa, Megan Thee Stallion, Lil Baby, Shawn Mendes, Billie Eilish, and your host, me, Taraji. But you better not be wearing that. I gotta go get ready. Yes, go. The American Music Awards live Sunday on ABC. This is not steak. This is Omaha Steaks. This is sharing love for family. This is giving joy to friends. This isn't steak. This is Omaha Steaks. A gift like no other. Seafood, chops, burgers, and of course, steak. All shipped right to whoever's on your list. Omaha Steaks. The best gift anyone's ever tasted. Guaranteed. Order now for holiday gifts and we'll include free chicken and pork too. Visit omahasteaks.com slash TV. At TouchAmata.com, we get that the things you surround yourself with reflect who you are, your style, your drive, your passions. Venture through a curated collection of astonishing items at TouchAmata.com because sometimes things aren't just things, they're you. Go to TouchAmata.com and discover the world's most unexpected items. Out there coming out with a basket for Andy Bostic, who hadn't been able to get involved in the game. They ran a set play for him, and of course, he makes a three pointer. Brett Brown, by the way, was credited with that foul as we went to break moments ago. That was his first. South Carolina matching up out of essentially a 2 3 here. Brown, that's a three. Youngster from High Spire High in Steelton, PA, co-captain of this Florida Gator team, Rich. Oh, boy, did he find a seam. And that's hard to do against Florida. Normally, they close those seams down, but at that time, Kerry Rich found the opening, took it right to the basket strong. Hill picked up the two early fouls back in the game, Dimitri Hill. A good job by Jamie Watson and Kerry Rich reacting to that pass inside. Bostic again. Quizma clears. Outlet to Greg Williams. Tough bounce pass in the open court. But Brian Thompson does draw the foul. And South Carolina has trouble getting back, Timmy, even after made baskets. That's, that's going to be something that they're going to have to be concerned about. Excellent job of creating the numbers by Florida. They don't get the basket, but of course they do get the foul. Something that the Gamecocks have experienced, and Eddie Fogler not used to this. I mean, these are guys that have, uh, the ones that have been around four years, like a Jamie Watson, they've played for three separate coaches. They've had controversies surrounding them. And really, there have been times when you could say this team didn't play hard basketball. They didn't play hard defensively. And that's something that Eddie Fogler just will not allow. Yeah, if, if you don't play hard for Eddie Fogler, you're going to sit on the bench and watch somebody else play hard. And that's what happened in that last game against Campbell. He's, he told his seniors, he said, guys, you're not playing hard. You're through for the day. Well, they got the message. And when they had to come back in because the other guys got tired, they played extremely well, almost pulled it out. Yeah, they were down by a bundle in that game. They seem to step up against better teams. Uh, they beat Alabama here, and of course Alabama later went on to beat Arkansas and Vanderbilt. Bostic drives baseline. Thompson clears. Brown open again. Jamie Watson throws it right to Brown. It's going to be three seconds. Ooh, no call. Hall, the dump down to Van Ellswick, who draws the foul inside. Great job that time by South Carolina, pushing the ball up the floor and trying to take advantage of their offensive advantage situation. He 
Peter Van Ellswick out of Hamilton, Ontario. Very strong physically. This is a young man that played on the Canadian Junior Olympic team. As you see Kuzma coming back in and DeClerc who picked up the foul sitting down. This young man actually got a roster spot that could have gone to Greg Newton, who's now a uh, freshman of influence, as you well know, with the Duke Blue Devils. Well, Van Elswick has not called on the score a lot for the South Carolina team. They've got three players, Hall, Watson, and Bostic, who are in the top eight in the Southern Southeastern Conference in scoring. So they don't need points from him, but they do need excellent defense in the middle and rebounding. Williams to pull up. Greg Williams, his first basket of the afternoon. And although he's only 6'2", he's still a big guard out there. And Florida's guards like to drive the ball into the lane and shoot over you. Oh, Hall to Van Elswick. And the foul. That's just a great pass by Emmett Hall. Well, Emmett Hall has drawn a lot of traffic. Florida's trying to help out on him. He does an excellent job of finding the open man here. Watch the Florida defense react. They're going to help out. They're going to try to keep Emmett Hall from scoring. And, of course, they give up the basket and the free throw to Van Elswick. That's just a great play by Emmett Hall. He rebounds, he scores, and he passes. Florida with the two-point lead, 20 to 18. A little more pressure on the ball now as the trapping begins. Eddie Fogler changing things up, giving Florida another look. Greg Williams, barely through iron, out of bounds. It'll belong to Florida. Eddie Fogler's old team with an early lead, the Shockers of Wichita State. Well, that was excellent defense by South Carolina that time. They were in a trap out of their man-to-man. -man. This time, let's we'll see if they trap again. They're matching up out of the zone. He looks. Yep. Five second call. Remember, you can be dribbling and stationary, but if you hold the ball, you can get the five second call. provided South Carolina some outside shooting coming off the bench and of course that's an important basket there because again you saw you have to move the ball against that Florida defense to get a shot. Junior college product from Boyd Anderson highly sought after coming out of junior college. Fred Brown tries to answer. Williams has Emmett Hall. Watch this one. <laughs> Emmett Hall has eight for South Carolina. And you get a feeling of what this place could be like for teams to come in here and play once Eddie Fogler gets things rolling here at the University of South Carolina. Thompson. In a small lineup since Williams entered has gotten more movement. And Hall had a great job of that time getting the ball down the floor. Had a mismatch. Had the guard guarding Emmett Hall right inside from Jamie Watson. Excellent play. Very aggressive South Carolina. Emmett Hall now has 10 into double figures for South Carolina. Brown for three. There's the answer. That ends a 9-3 run. And of course, that zone has forced Florida to the perimeter, and that's all they're taking is perimeter shots right now, and that's not necessarily their game. Since Williams came into the game, now you see a turnover as Cross will return the favor. But South Carolina's run really got underway, Terry, when Williams came into the game, and they went small. They had actually no post player in the game other than Van Elzer. 
I agree with you, Tim. Of course, Florida's defense, though, is keyed by Dan Cross. He's got excellent hands. He has 34 steals already this year coming into this game. He's had two already today. The record at Florida is 68. Van Elsworth trying to set the pick. Durkelboat ran right through it. Bostic comes up empty, and Thompson clears. Oh, Craig Brown was wide open for a layup, and they missed it. Bostic with a quick hand, knocks it away. Pace has picked up a little bit, Terry. Well, it has. These, these teams are both playing hard. A little more end-to-end -end for South Carolina. We're tied. Help. Seriously, I'm too young for hair loss. My hairline keeps creeping back. Receding? I've got this bald spot. Ah, oh, it's thinning everywhere. Gonna have to give up and shave it. Dude, put down the razor. Because Bosley, America's number one hair restoration expert, is about to give you your real hair back permanently. Don't ignore the signs of hair loss. Bosley is giving away an absolutely free information kit that reveals all the signs and a free gift card to any guy who texts HOME to 234-234. Bosley will show you for free how great your hair could look. Using the latest technology, Bosley's solution to hair loss is permanent and protected by the Bosley Guarantee. Plus, since Bosley has new non-surgical options, you owe it to yourself to text now for an absolutely free information kit and a gift card for $250 off. No matter what level of hair loss you have, text HOME to 234-234. That's H-O-M-E to 234-234. Are you stuck with a low credit score? A credit report and score that's causing you to be denied credit or pay higher interest rates than others for the same things? Then do what Terrence did and call Credit Repair for your free credit evaluation to help restore your credit. I started thinking about buying a new house and my score wasn't where I needed it to be. I called and spoke with one of the representatives and we just had a good conversation and I, I liked what he was saying. Just one call for his free credit evaluation was all it took to start back on the track to repairing his credit. I'm seeing the deletions and I'm getting the report, so I know something's being done. It does make a difference to me. All it takes is one call to get started. Credit repair has given me a second chance to have a better credit score. Don't let a low credit score hold you back another day. Do what Terrence did and make the call for your free credit evaluation. Call 1-800-611-5863. That's 1-800-611-5863. Again, 1-800-611-5863. Tonight, we begin this 2020 season playing in front of a bunch of cardboard cutouts. How gratifying is tonight? It's amazing to be back. Is this as weird for you guys as it is for us? 3.7 seconds remaining. Come on! Dodgers pulls up, three pointer. Are you ready for Monday night? Well, um, I, I've always been taught, and you know, I strongly believe that um, individual success comes through team success. So I feel like we have a good year, a decent year, then I have a good year. But for the individual, I just want to have a good year, have a lot of fun playing basketball. And you know, I haven't done that in the last couple of years. So this year, I'm looking forward to that. Really, a telling statement by the veteran Watson, and now that man trying to instill some fun and some winning tradition into this downtrodden program and in defense of Jamie I mean he's played for three separate coaches in four years that's very difficult and he's the only South Carolina player that has been here for the four years he's trying to keep a positive attitude and that's impressive Emmett Hall with an impressive rejection oh my and of course Florida was asking for the goaltend on that but Emmett Hall got it on the way up what great timing Kruger with the debate to Leroy Richardson. Our officials today, the veteran captain of the crew, John Clockerty, 
David Day and Leroy Richardson. Good move by South Carolina to do some screening up high on the basketball to create penetration opportunities against this Florida defense. Illegal pick by Norm Green. He picks up the foul. Well, it's always tough making a call on a goaltend, particularly when it's close to the basket like that. But that ball had just left his hands. I think that was a good one. Back to the zone now. Let's see what kind of shot Florida is able to get against the zone this time. They've been settling for perimeter jumpers. Tony Mickens is coming to the game, replacing Brian Thompson. Mickens, number 33 in blue. Cross. Looking to Hill for the dump down, and a foul is spotted against Watson, or checked out against Kerry Rich. Kerry Rich picking up his second, rather than Watson. Well, that time Florida seemed to be determined to go inside, and across a little penetration, but he was looking for Hill all the way. Bad pass that time by Mickens. Fortunately, Cross comes away with a loose ball. You mentioned earlier, Kuzma had 53 pointers last year, and this year he's not shooting well from the perimeter, but what a luxury to have a big guy that can step outside against the zone like this and shoot three pointers. Cross can as well. Comes up empty. And now it's Florida controlling the offensive glass with Anderson skies. And there's Kuzma missing badly from the wing. He usually shoots from the top. He's much better around the top of the circle than he is on the wing. Of course, he plays on the Finnish national team, led this team in scoring on their Australian trip, averaged over 18 a game. Nice work by Watson. And now oftentimes we mention a European big man at 6'11 can step outside with some, some touch. They do always seem to be able to shoot the basketball from the perimeter. What a move by Jamie Watson, though. And give Eddie Fogler credit for changing the way Jamie Watson plays this year. Moved him more inside, asked him to be a slashing player. Dan Cross is... 11th point of the game, and Florida back up by one. Oh, tough pass. Nice save by Hall to Watson. Oh, give credit to Emmett Hall. He had to get rid of it, barely saved it, because that was a very difficult pass for Kerry Rich to try to make inside. Well, it was a tough angle, but Emmett Hall made a play. He went after the basketball. Hill. There's an example of the bullish style of Dimitri Hill. That could have been Hill's third foul, though, and that could have been a big play. Great job by Hill of using his body to create some room in there to get the offensive rebound. A little sneaky, isn't he? That's the kind of move that the veterans in the NBA sometimes <laughs> get away with. A little slight push in the back for the guy with the big body. We're tied. If you're on Medicare, our next guest has some valuable information on your Medicare Advantage plan options, including how you can save money and see if you're eligible for extra benefits. Let's welcome Rhonda, a licensed insurance agent and spokesperson for Seniors with Medicare. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here today. Okay, tell us more about these Medicare plans. With a Medicare Advantage plan, you may be able to save money and receive additional benefits, like dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage. Anyone on Medicare can call for a free benefits review. You don't get additional benefits automatically, so call to see if you're eligible. We are hearing from folks on fixed incomes who are worried about health care costs and out-of-pocket costs. That's the best part. Medicare Advantage plans are a great option for those on fixed incomes because they're affordable. Beneficiaries may find plans with $0 premiums, $0 copays, or no deductibles. Why is it important for those on Medicare to call right now? Right now is the Medicare annual enrollment period, and it only lasts until December 7th. That's why it's really important to call before the deadline for your free benefits review. We're providing a special toll-free number for your viewers on your screen now. Our agents will let you know if you can take advantage of newer plans that might be able to give you extra benefits and lower costs. Just call the number on your screen now to find out if you're eligible to save money and get additional benefits, like free hearing aids, free eyeglasses, and free rides to medical appointments. You may also be eligible for $0 monthly premiums, 
zero dollar deductibles or no copays. Mm -hmm. There's no obligation to enroll. The call and Medicare benefits review are absolutely free. You don't get these benefits automatically, so call now. Call 800-712-9459, 800-712-9459. Are you ready for some football? This is weird. Dead silence. Okay. Are you ready for some football now? Yes, sir. Are you ready to get serious? Ready for everyone and everything to mean business? Are you ready to cut off the sleeves, circle the bandwagons, and be hungrier than ever? Nom, 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 nom. Are you ready for some cautious optimism? or some cautious pessimism. Really, guys? Well, cold starts are ready to get hot. Touchdown, Bears! Hot starts are ready to get steamy. And fake crowd noise is ready to get fake noisier. 180 degree turnarounds, ready. 360 degree turnarounds, readier. So get ready to be ready, no matter how ready you already are. Because everything is ready to matter, no matter what. Are you ready? And winning and losing in some ways isn't the real issue with this group. Uh, certainly we want to win as many games as possible, but uh, I sincerely believe uh, the University of South Carolina can have competitive basketball programs year in and year out. Uh, we are a ways away from that happening, but not too far away if we're able to recruit effectively. But to win games on a regular basis, you have to have more than just good players. You have to have discipline, you have to have philosophy, you have to have guidelines. Uh, for discipline both on and off the court. You have to have young people who believe in it, uh, that buy in, and we're certainly trying to build a foundation to where we can have consistent teams year in and year out. And certainly winning is part of it, but the first year you take over program, not the total issue. There were some broken hearts. This young man could coach, and as you heard him talk about what he wants to do to build a foundation here, you know that's a prescription for success. We had a momentary audio problem. We have uh, repaired that problem and are moving forward. <laughs> Anderson lost it, and it'll go back over to South Carolina. Well, earlier we came back from timeouts with baskets. This time we come back with a block shot and a turnover at the other end of the floor. Good defense. The turnovers are being created by the defense here, Tim. This is not sloppy play. This is a matter of great intensity between these two teams. And there are two teams that really match up well. You'll find that uh, regardless I, I just of records in any league, like you'll find it, certain teams that really match up well. And I think coaching knowledge of what the other guy is trying to get done. When you play in your own league, you'll many times find that. Perimeter jumper won't go. For Matthews, a steal by Hall. Feeds Boston. Interesting play by South Carolina. As the clock wound down, they put Emmett Hall up at the top of the key to go one-on-one -on -one in the one four. He made a nice pass. They missed the shot. Florida rebounds, but Emmett Hall comes up with a steal and the assist on the basket to Boston. Hill works over Van Ellsworth. Well, that was interesting. Hill that time was going east and west with the basketball as opposed to north and south toward the basket. And Take a look at this. Vintage South Carolina. And again, you see the athletic ability of Emmett Hall. He just goes after the basketball. A nice pass to Andy Bostic for the dunk. Van Ellswick at the strike. Peter 65% at that free throw line. Van Ellswick in high school in Canada averaged a triple double. 25 points, 16 rebounds, and 10 assists, which is an amazing for a big man. You think about it, there have been some fine players that have come into the collegiate ranks out of Canada. I remember and when you were coaching at Virginia, a young man that really was uh, part of the foundation for Coach K at Duke, Danny Mahar. Hard-working, tough players many times come out of Canada. 
And exactly what uh, Mike Krzyzewski needed at that time, someone to provide some intensity. Mahar did that for Duke. Four-point lead for South Carolina. We've seen six lead changes in this game. Kuzma is free. A little surprised that he hasn't gone up to the top. That wing jumper is not his favorite spot on the floor. Emmett Hall coming up with all the loose balls, Terry. He's doing a little bit of everything. And he draws a crowd down there when they go to him. Look at this. Even though he's isolated on this side of the floor, Demetri Hill is cheating over to that side of the floor. Florida switches screens when they're between the four and five man, but if it's between a perimeter player and an inside player, they will not switch it. Watson. Jamie Watson's one-on-one -on -one ability, accounting for nine of his points. And this is the largest lead of the game for South Carolina. And it couldn't have come at a more opportune time as they close out the first half. Well, again, South Carolina's success here is getting this crowd involved in the game. And the longer Florida lets them hang around, the tougher they're going to be. Normally, fatigue is a factor for South Carolina, but it looks like Florida's the team that's tired right now. Watson drives over Brown. They'll get another crack. Williams. Williams had his eye on the clock. He knew what the time was. He got that shot up quickly for the three-pointer. Great job by South Carolina to lead by nine. A huge run by the Gamecocks, getting nine unanswered to take the lead at the end of the half. When your hands hurt, you can't function.